Welcome to another webcast for Tomorrow's World. I'm Adam West. Thanks for joining us. Are you a coward? Please understand, it's not my intent to offend, but this is a question each of us should ask ourselves. Are you fearful or frightened about many things? Some are fearful even to leave his or her home or to venture out into the world. They suffer from a condition known as agoraphobia, an extreme or irrational fear of crowded spaces or enclosed public places. The list of fears is immense, and for many who suffer from them, these fears can be crippling. The website, phobialist.com, has an archive of thousands of phobias. One such phobia is called chorophobia, fear of clowns. In various locations around the world, persons of malcontent or unstable pranksters have donned red noses and scary clown masks, inciting generalized fear and panic. Are you fearful of these things? What about fear of failure, fear of success, or a fear that your life has no purpose? Maybe you suffer from chronophobia, a fear of the passage of time. Do you have fears unsettling you? Are your fears holding you back from the changes and quality of life that each and every one of us desires and seeks after? What is cowardice? When I was growing up, I used to watch Western television shows on Sunday afternoons at my grandparents' home. Invariably, one cowboy would say to the other, are you calling me yellow? In which is an epithet meaning a coward. And this usually led to some sort of challenge to arms. Cowardice is defined as a lack of bravery. A coward is a person who lacks the courage to do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things. We live in dangerous times. The Reuters news agency reported on Monday, November 21st, 2016, that, quote, a police officer was killed in Texas and another wounded in Missouri in apparently unrelated ambush-style shootings while a third officer was shot and wounded in Florida, authorities said on Monday. The latest attacks on U.S. law enforcement revived painful memories of deadly ambushes targeting police in July in Dallas and Baton Rouge. A fourth officer in Kansas City, Missouri, was shot in a struggle with an armed sub suspect, but he may have been shot by a fellow officer. A manhunt was underway for the suspect who killed the officer in San Antonio, Texas, while the suspect in, Missouri, uh, in the Missouri shooting died in a shootout with authorities." End of quote. Incidents like these have been increasing at an alarming rate. These fine men and women serving the public put their lives at risk every day as they go to work. That takes courage. Courage is defined as the ability to do something that frightens. It can also mean having strength in the face, face of pain or grief. It is important to note that courage is not defined as a lack of fear. Courage is not naivety. It is an unwillingness to allow that fear to control. God in, encouraged Joshua, Israel's leader at the time when they were entering the Promised Land, in Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them, for the eternal your God is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Now that same God, the creator God of the Bible, will be with those who have the courage to stand up for the truth, and indeed seek it with all their heart and mind. You can seek God's truth and exercise the courage, the bravery that is necessary to overcome the fears, phobias, and worries of this life by immersing yourself in the pages of the Holy Bible. Tomorrowsworld.org is where you can go to find inspiring instructional and scriptural materials to help you in that worthy and courageous endeavor. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.